Welcome to the Sensible DTU Explorer, a tool that gives you unique insight into your own life. How does it do it? Glad you asked. Let me show you just how. We have almost a year of one person's life in front of us. What can we learn about this person? Quite a lot, actually. First of all, let's look at the locations that the user has visited. They seem to be grouped into three distinct clusters. The biggest one contains locations in Boston, United States. The second one is in Denmark, while the third one has some disconnected Danish locations. From the connections on the chart, we can see how the user moved between USA and Denmark. The only link between those two countries are airports in Reykjavik and Kastrup. What else can we see? If you look at the top five locations over here, we should be able to determine where the user lives and works, as he would be spending the majority of his life there. From the spark lines, we can see the user's average week. A typical warp day from 9 to 5 is situated more or less in the middle of the day. Let's focus on the Danish locations. The green location has hills in the middle of days, which indicates this could be a warp place. We can even see lunch breaks. We can also see that the user works a lot because he's at work during weekends. The next two Danish locations seem to complement the green one. That is, the user is there when he's not at work. This is most likely where he lives, but why so many homes? Let's look at the calendar to add time to the equation. We can see the user has lived in the US for quite a long period of time. He has also been there a couple of times. It can be clearly seen that in Denmark he works at the green location while he lives at the purple. But what is that? After his second trip to the US, he no longer visits the purple location. It seems the user has moved, and now lives at the orange. Is that it? We already know quite a lot about him, but there's more. Let's dig deeper. In this mode, all locations are visible on the world map. Even more locations are shown which were too insignificant to show on the overview. We can see the user has been busy. He has been to many countries and continents. We can also clearly see how he travels between those. But let's zoom in and take a look at his daily life in Denmark. He visits quite a few places there, and big links can be seen between where he lives and works. Let's look into his private life. This location is clearly his home, and can be seen he is there between midnight and 9 a.m., the most. We can also see that he is there mostly on Sundays. Let's see how he parties. Let's see where he spends his Friday and Saturday nights. It seems he doesn't party that hard, although there are some locations other than work and home. Lastly, we can try to retrace some of his days. As you can see, there is a lot we can learn about a person just by looking at where he goes. What can you learn about yourself? Why not give it a try?